Hey, I'm Gabby from Gabby's Room, and welcome to video number three. Today I wanted to just start this thing called diary entries, and it's just, um, yeah, to see how every month is going, so I might make one of these videos every month, I'll see how it goes, um, and yeah, just say what I've been finding hard, I haven't really got a structure for this, I'm kind of making it up now, what I've been finding hard, what fun things I've been doing, what have I discovered, and um, I should write these down. Um, let's stick with that for now. So challenges. Um, oh, I found it really hard to just keep motivated, so I've been working from home and I've also been doing an online course and that means I'm doing a lot of After Effects things and trying to learn how to use certain plugins, trying to make my animations better, trying to make my character animations better and it is really hard. Um, and whenever I see it on a tutorial is they do it so quickly and it looks so effortless but um, one simple thing like making a mask and making it move takes me all day when in fact it should take 10 minutes. So yeah, I've been struggling with just learning how to develop my skills, how to keep going with with animation, how to keep making cool stuff because even though it's challenging, I want to get someday to that level where I can just make incredible things that I've thought about or dreamt about or even sketched in my books and, um, and for work too and for money of course to get a job. But I also just think, I just kind of look at people in awe who can just do it because it's so hard, it takes years of learning and lots of practice and I haven't really got either at the moment, so yeah, I need to do lots more practice and just to keep motivated. Um, I think one thing that has motivated me to get up in the morning is that we, um, my house has had builders in, so then I have to be up and open the door for them, I have to be up and make sure that they get let in, or because some of them come at different times. Um, and I have to be dressed because I'm not just like in my pyjamas um, so that's been helpful to get me out of bed and actually make myself do something productive and have breakfast early before they come and stomp around in the kitchen and yeah so that's kind of helped but it's kind of been a nuisance because it's been really loud but yeah that's been definitely been the motivation that I have needed things that I've enjoyed and learnt um, so that's that one fits in both categories. Um, is fresh mint tea, and it's what I'm drinking at the moment. Um, so you put the mint leaves, like actual mint leaves um, that I keep in the fridge from the plant outside or from the market. You put mint leaves into a mug, pour hot water. Sometimes I add a little bit of honey if I want it to be sugary. It's really cool to be able to make your own natural teas out of what's in your garden. And I really like having fresh mint tea because um, usually I get bored of having peppermint tea. But the fact that it's fresh, something about it, just it just tastes better. Sometimes I put lemon in it, although that's a bit strange. I've also been trying to sort out legal adult stuff, which is hard but as long as I keep going with it, keep doing with it, doing it. I've also enjoyed um, sending things in the post. I've got a bunch of postcards, I'll see if I can show you. I have these two up on my wall, although this one is horizontal. Um, I also have this one, but I framed this one because I just thought it looks like a nice picture. And then this one which my friend did. I have this one and this one. I also got these, some of which I got recently in Berlin and others I found in my house. This one's really pretty. It reminds me of 
um, Alice Bloomfield's drawings. I also like this one, it's a lady on a bridge, and these lovely drawings. I really enjoyed sending posts to a few friends for birthdays, especially in lockdown. It's so much fun to get nice post. Um, I also got a bunch of stickers, so I always put those on top. And it's also nice to be able to use postcards I've collected over a few years. Um, a lot of them were actually from my friends who are illustrators who made postcards. And, and some of them I got at, at uni, at degree shows. Um, so a few of them I've kept uh, people, um, were made by people who are in the year above, who graduated and I got to go to their degree shows. And some of them were in my year. I've also been trying to do my Duolingo classes once a day and my theory test questions as well. I've been trying to practice those once a day. I've also been trying to get into my Bible once a day, or at least my Bible app, because it's really helpful and sometimes I forget how helpful it is. I, the other day I felt really bad about myself for not... Um, not staying motivated, not, um, yeah, waking up, being really good with work. I felt so lazy, almost, and I was reading my Bible where it said that, you know, God wants us to have rest. God made the the seventh day for us to have rest, and if we don't have rest, we're just going to burn out. And I really needed to hear that because I think that sometimes, sometimes I have too much rest and I know that, but I think I worry too much about wasting time to the point where I just get really anxious about it daily when really I should be able to know that I've done enough in one day and not have to compare myself to whatever I think other people are doing with their days. So yeah, I've been trying to learn to be better to myself in taking time to rest and and also being able to call myself out when I'm when I'm snoozing way too much. Um so yeah I hope I'll be able to get the balance right although that's been quite difficult. I'm gonna end this video and um, hope those thoughts will be useful for my future self. I know I say that every video but hopefully I will watch them back and not feel too embarrassed. Goodbye! I just forgot to share my fleece. Look at this fleece. It is... It's got a sunset scene on it. There's the sun. There's the scene. There's the trees. And it is amazing.